Hello everyone and welcome back to CJ Explores. This week we are near Brisbane and we are doing the Southern Moreton Bay Tourist Drive and this is going to take us around Brisbane Bayside and just check out the first location where we're at. It's beautiful. So today's first stop is King Island and you have to park at Wellington Point and walk across a sandbar to get there so it's pretty epic. It's a 2k return walk but you can only reach it during low tide. So today's low tide was at sunrise, which was pretty cool. Though it's pretty chilly, and as you can tell, it's quite windy, but very beautiful. We made it, we have reached the island. It's only a little one, but it's very cool. And you can see back to Wellington Point. So you might be able to hear all the birds around us and that's because mangroves are such a biodiverse ecosystem. They create a habitat for loads of bird life, loads of uh, water life as well, and they also hold in all the sediments, uh, sand, and they hold basically a little structure for, for the ecosystem to grow on. Um, and that is part of the reason why Brisbane's river is quite muddy at the moment because they didn't know this before, but when they cleared all the mangroves out of the Brisbane River, it released all that sediment. And now Brisbane River is brown. It used to be like kind of a greeny, bluey color, um, but it's gonna take 30, 40 years for it to go back to its original color when all that sediment settles, as long as we don't keep mucking it up. I think it's time for us to head back Next up, we're gonna to go to the Wellington Point jetty and you can actually see it behind me, just over there. Okay, so we're at the jetty now and it's actually sheltering the wind, so it's super nice. I can kind of warm up a little bit, but this place is actually very popular for sunrise photography. And we can really see why the light here is beautiful and you can just have the horizon over there and you've got Morton Bay in the distance. Uh, we've just passed the sunrise, however we still have the morning light, so we're going to hang around here and see what we can take. Check out these seabirds, they have their wings open and they're just collecting all the warmth from the sun and they just look so cute when they're doing it. Right, I'm feeling a little bit hungry, so I think it's time for us to go and find a little breakfast spot. Alright, so we're in Manly now and we came to Cambridge Lane Expresso for Brecky. Uh, we got some avocado veggie stacks and some nice warm drinks to warm us up. Okay, so we have just taken a little wander down Cambridge Street towards the marina and here is where you'll find this massive lot of sailboats and this is also where they have the Royal Queensland Yacht Squadron uh, which I know because I wanted to do a skipper's course uh, and learn how to skipper a boat. <laughs> but anyway, uh, if you like boats this is the place to come and check them all out and I think today they have a little market on. We're just driving from Manly towards Wynnum because our next destination is the Wynnum Lagoon. Um, and the drive around the Esplanade is so nice. There's like a little point uh, with the park on it and there's just a, a big walkway which goes all the way around and everyone's out there with their dogs, with their families, just having the most beautiful Sunday, autumn day walk in the sun. It's so nice. And now we're at Wynnum. So here we are at Wynnum Wading Pool and it is a massive knee deep lagoon uh, for kids to just splash around in. It's filled with salt water and if you can see in the distance, just here, uh, that is Wynnum's Jetty, which is a good spot for watching the sunrise, watching the sunset and fishing, but we don't do that. <laughs> people cycling and we figured out why is because they have this epic cycling path all the way along the coast 
and it starts all the way down here at Redland and goes all the way up to Deception Bay and you can even carry it up to Bribey Island. That's a pretty epic ride. <laughs> So we're just taking a little walk out on the Wyndham Jetty now and wow, it's so popular. So many people out and about doing their thing. Um, but this is kind of like the start of the tourist drive and then after this we're gonna turn around and head back down and finish all of the rest of it. As we're driving further south along the Southern Moreton Bay tourist drive, we have come to a place uh, just out of Cleveland. It's called Raby Bay, and it's a pretty secluded little place. The water's really still here, and it's where there's actually a lot of uh, very expensive property with their own private docks and big, big yachts. Uh, in this little spot here, there I think there's about four or five little beaches, just like this one. They're just like little beaches uh, staggered along the coast. Um, but you don't really get waves here because we have um, Strabroke Island, I think it's North Strabroke Island, and Morton Island, which um, makes this a pretty sheltered spot. So good spot to bring the kids. You can have a little swim uh, and you won't be battered by waves like you are on the Gold Coast or the Sunny Coast. Okay, the next location on our Southern Morton Bay Tourist Drive is the Eddie Santa Guiliana Way. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and it is a bushwalk, which I think goes to a bit of a lookout looking out onto the Morton Bay. So, let's go. Very friendly, aren't they? What is it? I don't know what it is. Some very friendly birds decided to run up to us. Maybe they get fed here. Cotton and we're visiting Surame Winery to have a little look around. Apparently some super nice areas here like a lavender field and a lake and Corey's gonna taste some vegan wines. Yeah, super popular. It is absolutely rammed here. It took us a while to find a park. But no, it looks beautiful. No, no. wedding venue we found out accidentally someone upon it but it's super pretty congratulations Emma and Ross Ooh. well done we found the lavender field and I love lavender so I'm just gonna go and smell it pretty The wines are actually very tasty. I liked the uh, the red wine. It was like a named after an Italian town where it comes from. Um, but it was very tasty, and if I see that around, I'll probably buy it. Now we are going to head back to the coast and find somewhere to have a picnic. Don't know where that's going to be. Let's go. Now we're having a little picnic. It's very nice here. So yeah, we're having a little picnic at Victoria Point. Super nice. There's a nice breeze, and we have um, some roast pumpkin and wraps. However, disaster, we forgot the cutlery and the plates. So, we're just gonna have to hope it's not too messy. We have a wrap attack. Not sure how long this wrap's gonna stay as a wrap though. You can always tell when Charlotte's hungry because when she's making food, normally she makes it and gives it to me. But this time, it's gone straight in her gob. <laughs> Right, we've had our little lunch and the final spot of the day is going to be the lighthouse for sunset but we'll have a little bit of time to kill so we're going to take a cruise along the Southern Bay Tourist, what in Southern Bay Tourist Drive? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. It's the Southern Morton Bay Tourist Drive so we're going to go for a little cruise and see what we can find. Okay. 
Okay, the final destination of this Southern Moreton Bay tourist drive is... Cleveland Point Lighthouse. Yeah, and it is a, and a historic lighthouse apparently. And we're going to find out a little bit of information, but for now we are just enjoying the sun setting. And there's a chippery nearby, so we might even get some hot chips. What? lighthouse actually dates back to the 1860s. It's very old and it's doing pretty well to still be standing. When Moreton Bay opened in the 1800s, um, Cleveland Point was put forward as one of the main um, port areas in the kind of region. However, obviously Brisbane became the biggest port destination so all the places, um, all the port buildings were later turned into sawmills and shipbuilding yards. I have, I've known about the Southern Moreton Bay tourist drive for a long time. Um, moved here in 2011 for the first time and since then we've been coming and going and I used to come out here for work a lot but um, I've never actually done the whole drive and I'm so happy we've done it today. It's been a really nice experience. Well usually when we go out for the day we always go further afield than Brisbane and that's either to the Sunshine Coast or the Gold Coast. Um, but yeah, keeping it local and just doing the Southern Moreton Bay Tourist Drive has been really nice. So we recommend it. It's been so pleasant. Uh, found loads of little nice picnic spots and just nice coastal drives and really quiet as well. So recommend it. And next to the lighthouse there's a little path and you can walk down onto this area here and it's super pretty and they've got these beautiful trees out here and it seems like they're very popular. There's a few photographers around. I just realised because we've been living on the east coast of Australia the past year um, we actually haven't seen the sunset over water in a long time so I think that's why it just clicked while I was enjoying this so much because I've not seen a view like this in probably over a year so we're loving it Well guys, I hope you enjoyed watching our vlog when we've been discovering the Southern Moreton Bay Tourist Drive. She did it! Yay! At the end of the day I got it. We will see you guys next time when we see you somewhere else in South East Queensland. See ya! Bye!